joining us, you're back with us live here in the 10-minute briefing, and the weather is still popping off in the west. Absolutely. Still got a severe weather warning for damaging winds and abnormally high tides mm. across the southwest, extending as far as the north as Perth, wrapping around to Bunbury, down to Albany, and east towards Esperance, where Esperance just clocked up a gust 91 kilometers an hour with a thunderstorm earlier today. Now changing pace and take you across the globe to Canada where we have seen some late season snow for you guys over there. This is what it was looking like on the ground. Now people in central parts of the island are definitely having some morning issues there. Bad looks of things, yes. clearing up their driveways and their footpaths, having to dig out their homes in the middle of May. Yeah, so usually a little bit earlier than we anticipate with these uh, snowfalls coming through, but I'll tell you what, when it snows in Canada, it certainly snows. I have a friend, a very good friend from Canada, and he used to tell me that there are certain days you just wouldn't go outside. So a very different type of uh, weather and people there. Would you call it early or late snow in May? I mean, May's almost summer for them. Oh yeah, late season, mm, sorry, my very bad. Very late season. Yeah, yeah, sorry, late season. Kind of so. role reversals there from what we're seeing yeah, there you go. here in southeastern Australia. Exactly, yes, my bad, yes. Yeah, we could be in Canada in May. <laughs> exactly, that's right. <laughs> now back on home soil, let's take a look at your forecast for this Saturday in Queensland. We are going to see some showers along the coast. We have onshore winds, the high pressure region, also another trough um, which is moving away from the coast. So there's a chance that we could see those falls heavy at times. Otherwise, we've got the inland areas. It is sunny, Charleville, 26 degrees. Absolutely. New South Wales seeing those sunny conditions throughout after some patchy fog in the morning. Large and powerful waves for the coastal fringe, however. Light shower or two for the far northeast coast. Dry across all of Victoria tomorrow, no rain at all. Patchy fog in the morning, a cool start, frost warning for parts of the north of the state for tonight, and also for parts of Tasmania as well. A cool night ahead for you, but a generally sunny day on Saturday, particularly in the east, once a at 15 degrees. South Australia, cloud increasing from the west throughout the day, mostly high cloud though, maybe a light shower or two for the far west. For the southwest, we are continuing to see gusty showers and a few storms will contract to the coastal fringe throughout the day. However, a gradually ease. The north of the country dry and mostly sunny conditions continuing. Hot for the top end, 33 for Darwin. Now stay with us for continuing weather coverage. We are, of course, tracking the weather in the west. See you soon.